Hey y'all, what's going on? This is your boy Scotty by Nature TV and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday morning and I intend on doing the exact same. What is going on you guys? Now before we get into today's mess, um, let me let you guys know what we got coming up. Now tomorrow is Young, Fresh and New and it will be featuring LTV production. So make sure you guys tune in to that at 12 p.m. Eastern time, okay? And also on Saturday, it will be Yes for the Mess on Saturday night um, with featuring Bando Kang. Now, Bando does have a, have a video shoot tomorrow, and I'm not really sure if we're doing the show. I just texted him just now, so as um, um, soon as he let me know um, if he'll have time to do the show after the photo shoot, um, I will promote it on my Instagram page. Once I promote it on my Instagram page and make a link, then it will be official. But right now, we're going to say that we're still going to do the show at 9 p.m. Eastern time. But I'm just let I had to let you guys know about that part, you know, just in case the show don't come on. And if it don't come on, you'll know why, because of the video shoot. Okay. And then on Sunday, be sure to tune in to Who Was Wrong. And this week, we'll be featuring Schoolboy. So make sure you guys tune in to that on Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now, before we even start, start. Yesterday, when I did my live, I made it clear at the very beginning of my video that I have no dog in this fight. I respect both Funky Dineva and Armand Wiggins, but neither one are above reproach. There were some people that felt that I was being a Funky Dineva hater. I, well, I'm always a Funky Dineva hater and that I'm always sucking Armand's and I already knew those comments were going to come. And it just plays right into what I said at the very beginning. When you have a bigger platform, even if you're wrong, people are going to defend it. And they're not going to try to hear the other side of another person. And it's always going to be somebody being a hater because they're calling it as they see it. Like I said before, I have no dog in the fight. But I guess these same people that said that because I didn't see them in the comments on the one that I did when I was talking about the Funky and Carlos interview where I agreed with most of what Funky said in the interview. I didn't see them there. But as soon as I disagree with him on this part where Armand spoke on his side of the story, now I'm a Funky that I need a hater. But you know, it ain't nothing. You know, um, that's how these hoes do. Like, I don't give a f I'm, st I'm still going to say whatever the fuck I want to say. So it really don't matter. Um, I'm going to call it as I see it. So it don't matter. But um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into it now. Funky Dineva responded yesterday on his live, and he also respons responded on Instagram. But we're going to get into what he said on his live first. Um, and then um, we're going to get into what he said on Instagram. Now, um, we all know that Funky did a response to the interview. He had a very emotionally charged response. There were some people who agree with what he said. Then there are some people that feel like he played into the hands of Funky Dineva by saying that he's emotional and he's an immature child. Um, I, I didn't necessarily see it as that, but what I will say is that because of the way that he responded, I already knew that that's the card that people were going to play. But I don't think that it was more so of a immature childlike response. I feel more so like it was him uh, being annoyed for the most part because for the most part, he has been accused of being the one to make sure that the show ended. You know, like he was the one that was blind for the show. And I can only imagine holding it on my back for months right now. And I'm being blind for a whole show getting canceled. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, he and Armand had not said anything. Like Armand had not told his side of the story. Everybody telling their side, Claudia telling her side, Al telling her telling his side. And to be honest, if you really want to call me a hater of somebody, you can call me an Al Reynolds hater. Because I can I do not like Al Reynolds, and I always felt like he was the he was the reason. Although everybody played a part because everybody was plotting, everybody was listening to other people, everybody was doing this and that. But at the same point in time, I still feel like Al was the main culprit in all of this. <laughs> I still feel that way. You know, ain't nobody innocent or nothing. But I still feel like Al was the main culprit of it. Yeah. Armand did some shit that he had no been doing and Funky did too. And so did Claudia. But that damn Al? I see right through them. 
But anyway, let's go ahead. Oh, and another thing. Another thing that someone said, here you go being messy. Um, Your other YouTube friends aren't talking about it. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. That's why I feel comfortable to talk about it. Yes, they are. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> and even if they weren't, so what? I do what I want to do on my channel. Fuck out of here. But anyway, let's get into it, y'all. I'm about to address the Armand situation, okay? I was um, I was in here in the bathroom uh, getting ready for the show. And um, this is not going to be what y'all think, actually. And um, I just thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just thought about it and I thought, you know, what is the correct way to, you know, respond to all of this without creating a further, uh, a further crap storm uh, of, of the situation. And I'm gonna start off by saying, honestly, I'm not even, I'm not even upset. Um, after seeing Armand's or, or bits and pieces of his emotional response, it's very hard for me to even be upset with him because it just came off very childlike. And from where I sit, um, from where I sit, it it literally would be the equivalent of me being upset with one of my nephews. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's to be quite honest. And even to this point, I am still a supporter of our mom. I, I can't even bring myself to be mad or bothered by the situation. I, I, I'm, if anything, I'm just highly disappointed because I'm shaking my head and I'm like, the very thing that I was trying to give you some constructive criticism on was the very thing that you exemplified you you just had an all out fit and here's the thing i'm not telling anybody that they don't have the right to be upset or they don't have the right to be mad or they don't have the right to feel any type of way because he does um but it it what i saw and a part of his response was somebody who was hurting what i think is unfortunate is you have two of uh you have two people myself and carlos king who have the ability to garner a lot of attention in the urban pop culture space and there are a lot of eyeballs on he i that interview and the subject that is tgif by both fans networks and producers and I just find it unfortunate that you could not find it somewhere in yourself to hold it together and present yourself slightly better than that with all these people that are watching and that want the tea and that want the salaciousness and you played right into it and totally, totally, totally um, exemplified what I said, which was, a lack of maturity and while Stonky may have a point in regards to the reaction what you can't do is tell somebody how to react when they're hurt by you and I think that the part that a lot of people are missing in this whole situation is that they did have a report some kind of a relationship they had each other's numbers and I think that um Armand's emotional response comes from the fact that he does look up to Funky Dineva and um, he does see it for him. And, you know, he kind of looks up to him. So he probably felt as though all those things that you're saying about me, you know, you could have at least told me, you could have called me or whatever. I feel like it's more so of a blind side on Armand's, uh, Armand's part than anything. And I think that's all that he was saying. Um, 
his his response was emotionally charged because his damn feelings was hurt. I mean, that's just what it is. His feelings was fucking hurt, and that's why he responded like that. You know, I ain't saying that that you know that excuses anything, but I do think that that's the reason. But also, funky like a lack of maturity. Um, I like I said, I think maturity can go for everybody. Um, for the most part, you, me, Armand, everybody, because there's you may be older but there's some things that you do that's immature as well just like what you just said about kiki a couple of weeks ago that was immature the way you handled that was immature um the stuff that you did towards mail when nobody really knows what the hell happened between you and mail you know we cannot patrol your response or whatever because we don't know what happened behind the scenes we don't know if mail did anything to you or not or Kiki did anything to you. But most looked at that as immature. So it's just like some of the things that you were like trying to come at him about, you've done it too. So maybe this is your way of trying to keep him from moving like that. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, continue. You know, while I did not mean to hurt your feelings or hurl it as an insult, and I didn't think you take it that way, um, you know, I further support what I said. It's a complete lack of maturity. Armand, I was very kind and gracious in my words about you and you and your talent. I actually think fairly highly of what it is that you do. Here is what I know. I don't know the ins and outs of what was going on over there after I left. I don't. I don't know what all you are experiencing. I don't. You're absolutely, you and a lot of other people are absolutely right. The only information that I am and was receiving was from Al. Claudia and I are not in relationship, and I did not talk to any other producers after I left the show. And I think that's a big part of Armand's problem, Funky, is the fact that you were speaking on certain things that you really didn't know for a fact, and you only heard it from Al, and Al was the main one that was trying to get Armand fired. Al was the main one who was having issues with Claudia. So although you were gracious and you did give Armand his props, because I even said that when I reviewed, when I covered the interview that you did with Carlos King, um, that's the reason why I was initially on your side, because you were giving him props and kudos and things like that but when Armand came out and spoke on certain things that you wasn't privy to and told us a lot more of what was going on behind the scenes while he was there it made me look at you like oh okay you've been listening to Al so that means that's where you, you've been getting all your information from and your perception of Armand is kind of skewed because of your friendship with Al not to say that that was the you know that was the full out truth but that's the way it looks on the outside looking in is the fact that you've been listening to fucking Al you know what I'm saying that's who you've been listening to and so maybe you should have talked to Armand once again. Maybe you should have called Armand, talked to Armand, and got his side of the story versus listening to what Al had to say when Al was the main one that was causing all the mess. Um, so there is a world where my perspective on things can be a bit askew. However, coupled with what I experienced while I was there, while it may be one-sided, I highly doubt that I highly doubt that it's so one-sided to the point where my assessment of it still was unfair. Um, a hardcore fact, regardless of how the roast came about, there was a roast that took place. And then the show never came back. There was a roast that took place and the show never came back. So it is reasonable for one to conclude that the roast was a contributing factor in the show not coming back. 
we can all agree that the roast was a contributing factor to the show coming not coming back because I even said that watching that roast, I did not know how they were going to come back from that because Armand did drag Al to pieces. And not only that, Al came calling you red in the face, hollering and screaming, I don't give up and all this other shit. So we all knew that with, with that roast happening, we did not know how they were going to move forward. But the problem is that because of that roast, yes, it may have been a contributing factor, but most people kept saying that the roast was the main reason why the show got canceled. And I think that's Armand's issue about the whole thing. Contributing factor, Funky, I can agree. But making it but people were making it all about Armand and saying that that roast was the main, was the deciding factor that the show got canceled. And it wasn't. And Armand put those out, put that information out. That's an irrefutable fact. There was a roast and then the show never came back unless I'm missing something. Um, I did not watch Armand's video. I got a couple bits and pieces from friends. Um, me personally, I don't torture myself by sitting back and, and, and watching things where people are just going in on me. Um, uh, not, now, I got to agree with him on that now. Um, I stopped watching shit with people attacking me because I was watching videos of folks attacking me. But I stopped, and now I'm stopping watching people, you know, reading things that people have said about me. <laughs> I'm starting not to read this shit no more either. <laughs> so I do agree with that part. <laughs> um, but my friend did send me a clip at the end where Armand was crying, and he was saying that nobody knows what he was going through and that he was catching it on all ends or both ends or something to that effect. And I 100% agree with him. Um, and the position that you found yourself in, Armand, was the very position I was trying to prevent you from being in. Hence why I gave you all the information that you needed to navigate that space. See, the unfortunate thing is, you know, you've got one person who has made it their life's mission to be in all the comments responding to all the blogs, doing all the interviews. Uh, the first person to break the news that the show was canceled before the show was even officially canceled. The only person doing all the talking, you notice everybody else is quiet. And thus, that's the person driving the narrative. You got swept up in some games that were being played before you entered the scene. And... You made the choice to align yourself with the very side, and, and, and I'm going to reveal some stuff here. You chose to align yourself with the very person when you were auditioning who went to the execs and said, he does not like women. I feel threatened when working with this person. This person is not a good fit. And whether you know it or not, and despite how you may feel about Al at this point in time, it was Al who stood up for you and said, you know what? I have to draw the line here. It's one thing if you don't want to work with him. That's one thing. It's another thing for you to ruin his name with the whole Fox organization. Okay. Once that was revealed. But see, I think the thing with that is that Claudia actually admitted that she did that. And she actually admitted that she said that. And that was the reason why they was able to get past that. See, Al was doing shit behind the scenes and never admitted to doing it. So I think that's the, I think that's the difference here. Revealed to me. That is when I started working on your behalf in the background. That's when I began texting Joyce, saying, Joyce, y'all would be a doggone fool not to hire Armand. Y'all would be a fool. He's the only one that can do it. Then, if you notice, when I posted that post on my Instagram and I said, Armand did so good, y'all. It's nobody else that can take my spot except Armand. That was all intentional, Armand. 
That was all intentional. That was me and Al working in the background to get you the job because she was working so hard for you not to get it. The PTSD from me being there, you even told me that she called you and said, don't think because you got a YouTube page and you got a YouTube following that that means anything over here. Same one who said you were talking too much, that you need to dial it back, that you needed to fall back. Um, you can take what I gave you. You can take it any way you want to take it. Based on the experience that I had there, I felt like I was doing you a service, not a disservice by disclosing everything that I experienced when I was working there. Um, you know, unfortunately, um, somehow or another, you were able to get swept up in a game that was much bigger than you. And honestly and truthfully, I felt like I prepped you good enough for you not to have got swept up in that. And I think, but see, I think the issue that me and a lot of people are having is that we're focusing on Armand, but we're not saying anything about Al. And I'm just over people thinking that Al was some damn innocent victim in this whole situation. He's not an innocent victim. If you ask me, he set the motion for all of this shit to happen by running to management, doing all this bitch ass whining and crying because they can't take somebody else's opinion or take somebody else's energy. I honestly feel like Al is the big problem you know again everybody had their part everybody played a part claudia al funk everybody played their part but al is the biggest snake in this whole situation period and he's slithering by like he innocent i think what i see in you is also what i see in a lot of younger gays is that they they cling to these women thinking that these women going to take them somewhere. And honestly and truthfully, you got swept up in her game. And collectively, that game caused that show to get canceled. Um, again, everybody wants me to um, speak on Al and condemn Al and all these different things. Listen, I am pretty sure that there is enough blame to go around. The stuff that is being said about Al simply i was not there okay i wasn't there i was not there so whatever it is he's talking about between the time that he was there i don't know anything of that when i was there al by himself was not the problem all right there was a but when you left, he was, and that is the reason why Armand said what he said, because you were speaking so highly on the situation that you wasn't there for. That's the that's where the that's where the confusion comes in and that's where the frustration comes in. And that's why the that's where you get the emotionally charged response from is that you were speak you, you said you don't know what was going on, but then you don't know what happened when you when he left, but you heard about some nuggets about Armand and you heard those nuggets about Armand from damn Al because he told you that. So that's the reason why he was getting all up in his feelings about it. Enough blame to be spread amongst everybody, if we're being honest. But when I was there, Al by himself was not the problem. Again, what transpired between J January and that time that show got canceled with Al, I do not know. So I cannot speak on it. Um, but I just find it unfortunate that even in me giving you some, what I felt to be constructive criticism, Armand, that you still found a way to uphold the very thing that I said, what was holding you back. Um, I hate that you went out like that. I really do. Um, because at the end of the day and not to mention you're saying that Armand got swept into it but I feel like you got swept in it too but okay wow you were upset 
and you have the right to be upset um, and you endured your own set of whatever you endured. And I give you credit. You did walk into the middle of a S-H-I-T storm armed with enough information. I honestly wish you would have just remained neutral and stayed out of it. That really would have been the best course of action because you came into the situation in the middle of the story. And there was two years and a half, almost three years of story that happened before you got there. And that's what I was trying to give you, Armand. And the very thing that I was trying to prevent by giving you the information is the very thing that you fell victim to. And I still think based on your response, you don't even see how you got played in all of this. I can't even be mad with you because you are a victim. You are, I have to give you that. You are legitimately a victim in this situation. You got played in one of the worst ways. You uh, but <laughs> got played by who? Claudia or Al? Because Al was in his ear and so was Claudia. But it just looks to me like you're bypassing the shit Al did and you're pointing the finger at Claudia. Al did some bullshit too. Come on. Come on now. You did. And unfortunately, in getting swept up in a game that you did not understand, I guess the fair thing to say is that all three of y'all collectively got that show canceled. Nevertheless, um, Armand, as far as I'm concerned, I see you're hurt. I hate that you're hurt. If my words caused you any duress and or stress, I sincerely apologize. That was not my intent. Um, I really was trying to big you up and give you a bit of constructive criticism on the side. You didn't take it that way. Um, but me being just a little older and a bit more mature about it, this is not one of those situations where um, I'm going to take back what I said because what I said was said from a place of love and it was said to only benefit you. And now I'm going to have to actually double down on it, dog. There is a maturity piece, Armand, that's missing, man. And, and I'm saying this with so much love. It was missing with that rant. And it was missing with your response to me. Yeah, you. But you said you didn't watch the video, Funky. So you really. So you're giving an analysis on something that you didn't watch. You only seen clips. You haven't seen the whole thing. Maybe if you watch the whole thing, you would get it. Got one off. You got one off. You did. You read me for filth. Yada, yada. You feel good? I hope you do. But you're not going to get nothing for it. That's the thing. And like people are watching. So now it's he's volatile. He's going to be uneasy to work with. Um, whenever we hire him. He's going to go off of the deep end. And that's why I'm extending grace, compassion, empathy, and sympathy for you. Like, dog, you got to step that maturity piece up, Armand. Say it with love. Now, you can read me for filth again. You cannot heed to it. But I promise you, there's no ill intent. I've been there. I remember the way I showed my ass when I went through that Michelle Brown situation. Oh, Lord, you said her name. She going to come for your ass. <laughs> oh, my Lord, Jesus. Remember Demetria Lucas calling me, texting me, saying, Funky Dineva, I am in a lot of journalism circles right now, and you need to take that down. This looks very bad. Everybody is talking about you. You look very volatile. I remember my agent calling me saying, what are you doing? I remember the doors that got closed in my face because I behaved that way. Because you are another black gay man in this space that is being recognized, I was trying to help you. And I won't apologize for that. 
but that's the problem. I get what he's saying. Um, now let's start here. I totally get what Funky is saying here. There's a way to respond to things, right? It's either you respond in a specific manner or you don't respond at all, right? That's why I take I took the approach that I took last year when there were people who I don't know and still don't know trying to come at me. Or, you know, there was another, you know, there was a content creator doing whatever they were doing. And I never responded. I never said a word. Um, there were things that I noticed. There was a lot of trolling. There was a lot of where I could have just easily bust out of my seams and just responded. But being that I'm in a position now where there's people that are willing to help me with certain things, there's, you know, like, you know, the interview with Candy or Dr. Heavenly giving me pointers or, you know, certain people um that are bigger than me that are actually trying to they actually see something in me and wants to help me i'm not gonna get on my soapbox and get on here and act a damn fool in response to them you know what i mean because i know that they're watching me you know what i mean so i'm not yeah i'm not gonna do that so there's always gonna be a level of integrity with me when i if i ever choose to respond but sometimes i choose not to because i don't give a f and i'm not giving nobody that don't mean sh to me no motherfucking attention so that's how it feels. That's how, and so that's how I roll. So I get what Funky is say, saying with that. But the problem is that you didn't say any of that to him. It goes right back to why didn't you call me and tell me these things? Why you had to sit there with Carlos' miss ass and say all those things? You feel what I'm saying? That's the problem, and that's and, and I think that's the part that's missing. That's what I think. I was trying to help you. And I'm still trying to help you. Um, like I said, I'm not mad. You can pick up the phone today, tomorrow, and call me. And I promise you, we can talk about it and go get a drink. Black man, I want you to know, I see your hurt. I'm sorry for anything that I may have contributed to that hurt. But my intentions were pure. And um, I hope that we can get past this. Because um, like I said, I don't feel no ways tired about it. I'm not bothered. It didn't move me none. Um, I get it. And I just wish things hadn't been um, the way it was. With that being said, that's all I got left on it, y'all. That really is all I got left. And we're going to go. Okay. So that was, the, that was it on what he said on the video, right? So let's go to Instagram. So now we go to Instagram. And he made this post. Baby, the way I'm over here just dying, laughing, and confusion, I'm going to be so honest. I don't know who the, what the f is going on right now, okay? So, let's get into this. My house, and I'm just like reading the comments on my last live and just piecing things together. And I am in this house laughing my behind off because where I am right now mentally definitely feels like that position that Portia was in on the Real Housewives of Atlanta where her and Phaedra got into it about that stuff with Candy and Phaedra lied about where the information came from and had Portia up here uh, looking stupid. The, I was going through the comments and the overwhelming majority of a lot of the comments are saying that I'm, I'm gaslighting Armand and that I'm refusing to call out Al. And I'm like, okay, so many people are saying this like something has to be a little off or there is a piece that's missing that either is not connecting with me or not connecting with y'all. So let me just clear up one thing. And so we can all try to get a little bit of understanding. Everybody is saying Al is a snake. And why don't I call out Al? I am completely being honest here and it has nothing to do with friendship. It has nothing to do with friendship. Up until the time that I left, there was nothing for me to call out, out on outside of what we've already talked about, which is the text messages, so on and so forth. I'm seeing things in the comments about investigations, uh, Al allegedly talking to HR, trying to get our mom fired. I am here to tell y'all at 1125 p.m., on August 8th of 2024, 
I do not know nothing about that. And I did not know nothing about that. A lot of people are saying, you know, I need to watch Armand's video because he posted some receipts. That's all fine and well. I don't indulge in trauma porn. I'm not watching nothing with somebody going off on me. You can tell your mama to do that, okay? But if somebody, anybody wants to call me and explain to me what I'm missing, then I am open to hearing it. But as far as you need to call out Al, I don't know what I would be calling him out on at this point because I was not there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he and I communicated and he kept me abreast of things that were going on at TGIF. And, you know, as with anything, people tell the stories from their side. They do. And it's not hard for me to believe much of what was coming out of his mouth because it was consistent with a lot of what was going on when I was there. But again, call out Al, call out Al. I have no problem calling out anybody who was wrong, including myself. And I have no problem coming back and correcting something if I was wrong. I am operating in this moment off of the information that I have, okay? When I left TGIF, Claudia and I, you know, we, we were no longer in a relationship and me and our mind never talked again. Nobody ever called me and said, let me tell you what Al did. Nobody ever said, Al is trying to get me fired. These are all things that I am finding out and all of that is allegedly. So again, call out Al. I don't know what I'm calling him out on. And it's funny because it quiet as it's kept, if I'm being totally honest, it's beginning to look like my ass the same way, the same way I said Armand got swept up in some stuff that he didn't have, didn't know that he was getting swept up in. It's starting to look like my ass don't got swept up in some stuff that I don't know. So if somebody want to fill me in, if somebody want to call me and let me know what all the hell going on, please call me because I don't appreciate sitting up here on the internet looking like Portia when she was looking stupid down to that reunion. And if I'm being totally honest, that's how I feel right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I, I really don't know what's going on. Somebody fill me in. <laughs> So that was basically Funky saying that he did not understand what was going on. Everybody keeps telling him to call out Al. And the thing of it is, um, he was saying that he don't know what he can call Al out about. You feel what I'm saying? But I think that's the issue. You giving commentary on Armand, but you can't give commentary on Armand without knowing the method to his madness, to be quite honest. You have to know everything. And this is the reason why you needed to call Armand to get the T or to understand it better, or even before you did the interview, you should have done that. So he texted Armand and said, when you get to a place where you are settled enough in your spirit, we should talk. Armand said, I'ma call you. Someone just sent me your video and I'm cracking up. So it looks like there is a possibility that Funky Dineva and Armand could bury the hatchet. You know, I was very skeptical about that. I didn't think that they could because I mean, if Armand roasted me the way that he roasted Funky, I mean, I wouldn't want to talk to him. I'm just being real. Um, and if I felt the way Armand felt about Funky's interview, I wouldn't want to either. It's only because I'm not a fan of the public stuff. You know, I'm, I've never been a fan of public meltdowns. I've just never been a fan of that. I never cared for that. So that's probably why I wouldn't be able to come back from it. But everybody's not me. So um, if they can get if they can come back from it, then that's a great thing, in my opinion. So I hope hopefully they do have a conversation. Hopefully we get um, more more um insight on said conversation and hopefully things are able to you know be handled in another in another way in my opinion that's that's all i could say um now i must say do i think that funky had ill intent with the things that he said on carlos king's interview no i do not i said that from the beginning but do I understand why Armand responded and reacted the way that he did and why his reaction was what it was to Funky's interview with Carlos? Absolutely. Both sides have points. But the problem is 
Funky did not have all of the information. And being that Armand was already sick and tired of being sick and tired of being blamed for everything, he went the fuck off and he let loose. So one can't be upset about that. So Al is the common denominator in all this. I'm just going to keep saying it. He's the common denominator. I've been saying it, and that's just that, all right? So leave your comments down below. This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys, up out here until my next video. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye, y'all.